Hi, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Booterall team. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple sales funnel inside Cheetah. So what is a sales funnel anyway? A sales funnel is a series of steps that your customer takes when making a buying decision for one of your products and or services. In the process, they may be faced with content such as video, email automation, irresistible offers, and more. So in this blueprint, we have a simple sales funnel made up of four pages. You have your lead magnet page, you have your sales page, your super checkout, and then your thank you page. Now, there are a couple different ways you can do this, but this is what we're going to be highlighting in this example. As a matter of fact, the sales page and the super checkout will be kind of put into one. So we'll just have a lead magnet page, a sales super checkout page, and then a thank you page. Now, what we're going to be focusing on is a 30 day boot camp. Okay, we're going to be selling a 30 day boot camp at a discounted price of 50% off. So let's go into Cheetah and let's take a look. Okay, so real quick, we're inside Cheetah. This is the actual simple sales funnel made up of four different pages. Now, again, on here, you also see something that you can also do different which is at a separate confirmation page. And we'll kind of talk that through as we go through the process here. And again, the super checkout and the sales page for this example will all be right here on this one page. And I'll show you how to, you can separate that as well. Okay, so let's hop into the home page here. So here we are on a landing page or a home page. And right away, I have a headline that reads 30 day boot camp half off. Okay, I didn't put the price here, which I think is what's missing, right? It's $100, okay? We only have 10 seats left or 10 passes left. So what your site visitor is going to do, they're going to opt in into this form here. And what we did was we just simply added a mailing boss email marketing form in here, okay? And to do that, all you have to do is go right here, bring this out, go to add, go to elements, and then go to email marketing form and then dra just drag a form into your panel or into your box here. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to pick a list that you have already created inside mailing boss. Now, if you have not just click on create new lists, go through the process, refresh your page and then select your list. So again, for this example, we're going to go ahead and select 30 day bootcamp challenge, select save, and there we go. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and just delete this. We already have the form in here. So I'm going to right click on this form already set the list. So let's go ahead and set the redirect link. So while they are pending subscribe, where do you want to send them? Okay. So let's go ahead and click on no action, go to page. And for this example, this is a good time where you could set up a confirmation page and send them there. Now doing so increase your chances of them going into their inbox, checking their spam folder and making sure that they subscribe to your email list, depending on how important that really is to you would determine whether or not you feel you need a confirmation page. And on that confirmation page, I would highly recommend you have a video stating exactly those steps to make sure that you get them subscribed. Now again, so for this example, we're going to go ahead and send them to the sales page. Okay. Cause that's where we want to go next. And then once they subscribe, where do you want to send them? Well, let's go ahead and do the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and select the sales page. All right. And then the unsubscribe, all you have to do is just, um, if you need to select a page, just go ahead and keep it at home. Um, or don't do anything. It really, it's entirely up to you. So now what happens is that once they get here, they're going to take a look at this offer and it says, buy now you could do anything with this button. You right click on this form here and you have the properties where you can go in and make changes to the color, to the style, to the form. So for this example, let's go down to headline. And this is where I entered buy now you could change the font. You can change the color of the font and so many other different things. So let's go ahead and select save. All right. So next let's take a look at the sales page. Now, again, if you sent them to the confirmation page and in that video, you told them to go in and make sure that they subscribe. Once they've subscribed, 
then it would send them right here to the sales page. And in addition to that, in the email or the welcome email, you can also have a link to this page as well. So what we've done is we went in and kind of just generically created a sales page here, right? So here's where we say life changing 30 day boot camp, just $49, right? I didn't put the original price, but I did tell you what the original price was, which was a hundred dollars. Okay. So here they can do several things here. So you can go down to the bottom here and select buy now and it will open up the sales page that you created in your super checkout or you can grab that link from super checkout and go down here to the bottom and here what we've done is we've created kind of a checkout panel and how to do this so I'm going to just show you and kind of replicate what I've done here go to add select panels and then go down to checkout banners so here I just clicked on the checkout banner and it added the banner to the very bottom here right and all I did was I changed out this picture here and then I also changed out the code to the iframe so there's two options here so this is an iframe and it tells you here whenever you're using your checkout banner copy and paste your super checkout iframe code here so if I right click on the iframe Go to general settings again these are my settings for this element if i click on general settings and then i go down i have two options one is an embed url or the embed code the iframe code that super checkout will give you okay so for this example let's go up and take a look at what i did here so if i right click now you see the iframe right and it says embed url so it gave me a url I took that URL from Super Checkout and I placed it in the embed URL and I selected apply. And there you go, it all showed up right in here. Now the other option is, is because it gave me the URL, I could take this URL, select copy from the Super Checkout, go up to these buttons here, right click on the button, go to set link, and then here is where I could do an external link, which is this right here. There you go. And I just have to choose if I want to open it in the same tab or a new tab. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and do a new tab. And so there you go. So I've got two pages set up. I've got my home page and then I've got my sales page. All right, so let's go ahead and select save. All right, and lastly here, we have a thank you page. All right, so here we are at the thank you page. Now there's a couple things. First off, you've got a video here that you can possibly make to just greet and thank all of your new boot campers. And here you go. They just have to click here to get access to the product or service that they purchased. All right, so let's go ahead and select save. And let's see what this looks like live. Okay, so here we are in the live website. So let's go in here and register. Select buy now. So now what this has done is it's taken me to my life changing 30 day sales page, right? Now it could have again taken me to the confirmation page and here this could be written content as you see it here. These could be also videos kind of talking about the features and benefits of what they can expect. And then down here at the bottom, just as we set it up, right? If I click on buy now, it's going to open up a new page where I can go in to make the purchase of my 50% off discount. So again, this is an external link that you just tie into a button and you can go in and then your customer can still go through the process and make a purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and close this page here and I'm going to go down to kind of the internal page. Here is where we added the URL to an iframe, right? So you can go down here, just simply scroll down, see the same information. Here you have the regular price of 99.90, the sales tax of 8%, 107.89, discounted at 50% off. And there you go. Just go forward with the purchase. Okay, so now we're in step two, which is processing the payment. So all we have to do is just go in here. Now, 
I'm buying a membership. So what it's asking me to do is enter a password. I'm going to go down here to debit or credit. All right, so all of my billing information has been keyed in. So I'm going to go ahead and select pay now. Okay, so now that we've made the purchase, we get confirmation with a simple thank you. Now, this thank you is just really closing out the one, two, three step process that we did inside Super Checkout. When in reality, when they select continue, it is going to take them to the thank you page that you have set up inside Cheetah. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so here we are at the thank you page. The sale has already been completed and now your customer is ready to access the product that they paid for. So here you can simply welcome them to their 30 day challenge and tell them to click down below to access the login area. And this is how you set up a simple sales funnel inside Cheetah. One amazing thing about sales funnels is you can add funnels on top of funnels and get really, really creative depending on your offer, your product, and or your service. So I hope you found the content in this video helpful. Until next time, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Bill Raw Team.